Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome to a, not really tutorial, it's something different than what you'd normally see in this channel. This time around we're going to be talking about how to set up a Discord server to look nice as you possibly can. So as you may or may not already be a member of Tsuke, this is how my server is organized. There's clean banners, there's embeds. The channel names are always spiced up. It is a little overboard in some cases, but it helps keep everything organized and not bland shades of gray and black. So to start out, I want to talk about bots. Now this isn't going to be the focus for this video, the focus being how to make your server look nice and presentable. But I want to mention three bots that you should really have in your server. Those bots being Me6 for activity levels. Now Me6 did implement an update some time ago, I don't remember when this was, where you do have to pay for their premium servers to award your members with a role based upon how active they are or their level. We were grandfathered in so we still have that, but it's a great bot to have on your server just to get members engaged with the chats and engaged with one another. Next bot would be Tatsumaki. Reason being is they have this amazing profile card system. I mean, it is a little outdated in my opinion, but it's still pretty good. Let me see if I can find an example right here. And they have a variety of games that you can play, customize your profile cards. You can then use their currency to buy customization for your card, or they have Tomogachis, I believe that's what they're called which you can grow and raise and play around with. And that's just a great way to get your members more engaged with your server. Granted, you don't want bots to be the focus of your server, but you should have some bots present at the very least so members are getting points. Because Tatsumaki is a bot used across a large amount of servers. So if members can chat in your server and get levels and points from that, they're gonna be more inclined to do so. And the last spot would be Dino. Reason being is, especially as the server grows and at the early stages, you're gonna want some sort of security against raiders, trolls, people trying to break rules. And Dino is a great bot to get that done. Okay, so jumping into it, I'm first gonna start out with channel names and channel categories. So you can see on the left side right here, this is the layout that I'm using. We'll go to edits, not that. There's a little divider here, there's an emoji to the left, and on the right you see the text. Now this is pretty basic, some servers do it more complicated because there's a whole wide variety of symbols that you could be using. I just chose this because I felt it fits us well enough. And there's just so many options, I'll lose my mind trying to pick something out from there. So this fits us perfectly well, and as you can see with the category, same thing, line, and then emojis on both sides. Now this is really up to you what symbols, what emojis you want to use, or maybe you don't want emojis or you don't want symbols. But I definitely recommend having at least one or the other or even both which would be best. Because it really helps spice up your channels and not have them be so bland. Let me see if this is a good example. Yeah, like this. This is perfectly fine, but it is a bit bland. It looks like every other server, people are going to come in and say, all right, let me browse through all of this. Here, they'll become accustomed to saying, oh, it's a leaf. That must be lobby. Oh, it's a... It's a... Onigiri, I think that's what it's called. That's the welcome channel. And they'll become more familiar with that instead of having to browse the channel names every single time. The emoji will act as the channel identifier. Next thing would really just be these embeds. I'm not too familiar with which bots do this because Akiara had, which Akiara being our custom bot, which is gonna have more features coming up really soon, which I think you'll all like. But at the moment she does all of her mod functions, so we got rid of Dino and set to have her take over for that. And she does embeds amongst other things as well. But Embeds are a great way to help keep your info channels organized. The only bot that I can think of right now that does that is Nadeko, N-A-D-E-K-O. 
there's probably, well, there's definitely other bots that do that. I can't think of any at the top of my head. But Nautico is a great place to start. It definitely helps your channels look neater compared to... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm hitting on Sky Oblivion all the time. They really have an amazing project going on, but... Let's see if I can find an example. Yeah, I mean, this is fine because it gets the point across, but it's an eyesore to look at. It's much nicer to have it lined out like this, where you have, oh, this is one section, this is another section, broken down. Now this could be organized in an even nicer way, more eye appealing, but it's definitely better than what other options are available. Same thing here, different questions broken up into different em embed colors. And that brings me on to my next point, and those being these little symbols. Now the base symbols that Discord really gives you, which is this generic emojis that exist across all platforms, are these blue and orange diamonds. I took those, I gave them a bunch of other colors, and I dropped them into a server, and now they're acting as a nice way to just break things down and keep things organized. Let me show you an example of how that would look for announcements. That was not a good example. <laughs> for example, right here, you see the red, blue, orange, purple, and teal. Or neon. No, it's definitely teal. Scion. I can't get my colors right today. But it helps break down this into more readable... In a more readable way. Compared to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which would work as well. Or a straight up list. I think it helps it look nicer. That's the gist for that. The next thing would be banners. Now, if you're a returning watcher to my channel, you would know that, well, you would at least understand how to make some of these banners. If not, there are the templates you can download and edit. But banners are crucial to making your server look great and take it to that next step. A lot of people don't seem to understand the importance of having an aesthetic for your server. But it really helps you stand out, especially if you're good at what you're doing. Some servers, they'll have something super basic, it looks super bland, and while it gets the point across, it does more harm than good. If you can't make something complicated, at least make something simple and make it look good. Don't do something half-assed. Don't get lazy with it. If you can't do something super detailed, I'm just repeating myself here, then at least try something simple. Because it's definitely going to help rather than have, for example, if I typed out general info or I typed out suke up here. It's much more appealing to see the banner and it helps things stand out. And it's just a great way. Now you can always mess around more and try new things. But banners are a great place to... Not start, but a great place to build off of. As you can see, we use banners for updates, announcements, all kinds of things, and events. Another thing I want to talk about is for when you run events, a great thing to do is have an event calendar like this. I'll probably make a tutorial on this in the future of how to make a calendar. It is rather simple, just have a background and make some sort of shape to overlay on top. Or you can do it an even simpler way, just have rows and columns and drop it in. But it's much nicer to look at a calendar than having it written out all the way down a list. The idea behind images and just GUI user interfaces is that they help people get engaged and they're appealing for people to look at. If your server is based on old text, People aren't going to be interested. They're not going to want to stick around. Because there's going to be other servers that look better and do things better than you do. So while the aesthetic of your server isn't the deal breaker, it would definitely help make you unique. And you can develop a whole aesthetic and style based around your server. That's the great thing about design, Photoshop, Illustrator is that you can really make stuff your own. And Discord being a platform where everything is based on two colors, shades of gray or shades of white, having this ability to customize the images is definitely a place people should be 
working more on. And also, as I mentioned before, getting channel names, categories, all of that laid out in a nice visual manner so people can quickly find things. And last of all, I want to talk about the server banner. I know that the majority of servers don't have this compared to how many servers there are in Discord, but if you do unlock it, don't be basic. Don't just grab an image off Google. 99% of people who have a server that's at tier 2 for boosting, they just grab an image from Google, dropped it in, bam, that's the server banner. Sure, that works. That helps get your point across or what your server is. But take that next step. Go edit it in Photoshop. Add some flair to it. Make it your own. Help it match the aesthetic of your server. Otherwise, it's great that you have it, but you're generic. You're just like every other server is. And do you really want to be like every other server or do you want to have your own little niche that's specifically you and uniquely your brand or your style? So that's really the gist of all of this. Break it down again. I keep repeating myself. Make UI that's really unique to you and actually take the effort to make something that looks good. If you can't make it detailed, make it simple, but make it look great. Two, try to use emojis to help spice up your posts and embeds if you can do that. Once again, Nautico is the only bot I can think of off the top of my mind that does that. Third, once again, emojis, symbols. You can just Google copy-paste symbols or copy-paste emojis, and you'll find a site where you can grab those from and just drop them in, try them out. There's tons of options for you to go through, see what works well for you. And I almost forgot, for rows, I like to do this for staff rows only because otherwise it becomes too much, is little brackets around an emoji, divider, and then the name. Because you really hope staff stand out from other members. And once your server becomes large enough where you require tons of rows, adding things like this as dividers between specific categories is a great way to keep your role list organized. Otherwise, I mean, ours is pretty messy. I should probably clean it clean up a bit. But having it broken down in different sections, you can even add in some text here to help it act more like a header, not just a divider. But you get the point. So that's really all that there is regarding making your server look nicer. I hope you try some of these things out. And for the tutorials on banners, you can always browse through the channel videos. If you don't really want to take the effort to make, to make it straight from your own, the template is always there for you to grab and just manipulate. We have the server banner templates, we have the regular banner templates, and embeds, once again, Nautico, and then I mentioned the other bots at the beginning that you could try out. So I hope you all found this to be useful. I hope I didn't speak too fast. You can always bring the video down to 0.75 speed if I'm speaking too fast for this. But thanks so much for watching, and I hope you all have an amazing day.